It's time for round three of the Austin Racing Sprint Series held at Riverside Raceway this week. Qualifying's already been completed and we find Travis Fox on pole for the second round of the row with Matt Cooper sitting beside him. Rod Savage and Grant Morrison will take up the second row and Phil McKee and Benj Lundgren will be on the third row. We see the cars lined up at the start there. The red lights are just starting to come on. We're waiting for the green. And there they go, and it's Travis Fox and McLaren, who looks like he got made a pretty good getaway. The Audi is right there with him. In fact, it looked like there was a little bit of contact there between the Audi of Matt Cooper and uh, the Aston Martin of Rod Savage as they head through the S's for the first time. With cold tyres and cold brakes, it's uh, definitely one for the brave here, and it looks like Travis Fox is the bravest of them all. He's actually opening a bit of distance over the others. Matt Cooper still sitting there in second in the Audi. It looks like we've got Rod Savage in third place in the Aston Martin. Grant Morrison in the McLaren is sitting right on his tail there, and just out of shot you'll probably see uh, Phil McKee, uh, Benj Lundgren and Doug Savage. Heading into the infield section, it's still uh, Travis Fox looks like Matt Cooper's made up some ground there. We flick back to third place and it's uh, Rod Savage in the Aston Martin. Grant Morrison in the McLaren sitting right on his back bumper. These two are picking up the battle from last week where they were at Manfield. And uh, on that occasion, Rod Savage was able to hold out for second place. Let's see if it uh, changes for this round. We pick up Doug Savage who uh, is coming through the S's. And uh, he just runs a little bit wide and he takes to the grass a little bit. This is probably not going to be good. He manages to dodge the tyres but uh, ends up in the infield. That's going to take some repairs. And we uh, catch up with Phil McKee in the Nissan R35. Just runs a little bit fast into the turn. Looks like he's carrying a little bit too much speed. He's run out of room on the, uh, on the dog leg and uh, has had to use a little bit extra track. We now pick up Benj Lundgren in the BMW Z4. And uh, just going through the infield turn, about to approach the dog league where Phil McKee just got it wrong. And it looks like the curse has followed Benj as well. He's, he's uh, ended up on the uh, other side of the track. Phil McKee coming into the last turn now. It's a 180 degree banked turn. And he just gets a little bit of a wobble there and makes big contact with the outside wall. That's not going to be good. He's going to have to try and get that car back to the pits. Bench Lundgren has just come out of the pits uh, after fixing his car from the, the previous runoff that he had. He just gets, oh, just gets a little too close to those submerged tyres and uh, narrowly avoids Doug Savage at the same time. Speaking of Savage, here's Rod Savage still holding down third place in that Aston Martin and Grant Morrison in the McLaren in fourth place. They uh, had a de really good battle at uh, Manfield, New Zealand last round and uh, they head up towards the top of the hill. Grant Morrison getting really close here and uh, Rod Savage just locks up the brakes and Grant Morrison just slips through, takes up third place. So finally after two rounds of trying he gets through and look at that just ahead of uh, Grant Morrison is second place Matt Cooper in the Audi. Rod Savage has a big look on the uh, in the inside but uh, Grant Morrison's got him covered. Here's Rod Savage in the Aston Martin. Looks like he's got some problems. Yes, there's big contact with the outside wall. Looks like the uh, something wrong with the steering or maybe the tyres have gone off on the, on the Aston Martin. And another contact. That's definitely not good news. I hope he's able to slow down the, the car and get it back to the pits and maybe get some new tyres. He's run off the course to, uh, trying to straight line but uh, makes big contact with the fence and I think that'll be a bit of a trip to the pits. We now catch up with Grant Morrison who's putting in some really fast laps. He's been able to catch up to Matt Cooper in the Audi on, in second place and uh, we could be in for a bit of a show here in the closing stages of the race. Oh, Grant Morrison has a big moment. In fact, has another big moment as he's trying to uh, catch up to that Audi in front. Oh boy, if he doesn't call it into the pits for a change of tyres in the, in the next few laps and or a change of underwear, or both. It's Doug Savage again in the virtually the last lap of the race and it uh, looks like the tyres are giving out on him and uh, he's got it all wrong and he's left a souvenir for the spectators. And here he is, the leader Travis Fox in the McLaren. He's had a pretty troubled unrun. He's been about 10 seconds in the lead uh, over the stage of the race and he takes the win for the second round of succession. 
over this car here, Matt Cooper in the Audi R8, who once again racks up a second place uh, and finishes ahead of Grant Morrison in the second McLaren, who had to take a late pit stop there for fuel, I believe it was. And the last car that managed to finish the race, all the others had uh, a little bit of trouble, it is Doug Savage in the Mercedes-Benz, and he will finish in a fine fourth place. We look at the points after round three. Matt Cooper has got 51 points, narrowly ahead of Travis Fox on 50, Rod Savage on 40. They're your top three drivers. Thanks very much for watching the Austin Racing Sprint Series. For more information about us, go to austeamracing.com.